How's it going guys? Welcome back to Crafting Cars. Today is going to be pretty exciting. We're putting the crankshaft into the LS1. Let's get right into it. Alrighty, we got the parts off the shelf. Now the next thing to do is to clean the main caps, which you see here. I'm going to end up reusing these bolts, so I'm going to clean those separate. I'm pulling out the rest of the main bearings that I hadn't pulled out yet from the main caps. I'm going through the really, really soft Scotch-Brite, taking off any of the crud that was left on there. As you can see, they're cleaning up really nice. This is all just cosmetics but you don't want any tarnished oil or old oil left in there. So I'm cleaning it all off. Again, brake clean, brass bristle brush, and soft, soft Scotch-Brite and soft paper towels. Now it's crankshaft time. Nothing too much here. All I'm doing is cleaning it off again with brake clean, getting the oil and the dog hair off, obviously. And as you see here, brake clean just doesn't last around here. Got to whip out a new can, always got one on me. You know how it is. Now that the parts are all clean, next up is the block. We're going to clean out the oil galleries again uh, with brake clean and compressed air. Now these all are sealed, so I end up putting some thread tape back on it. Lots of compressed air, blow everything off. You don't want any of that dirt sitting on there for longer than it needs to be whatsoever. Once again, microfiber towel. And now it's time to put in the new main bearing. The all have an alignment tab. The big one that you want to make sure that you put in a certain way is that center one, the thrust bearing. That one has three indentations on the side profile. You want to make sure that the three indentations are facing back towards the flywheel. I'm not sure if that's brand specific or not, but in this instance, that's what they wanted you to do. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to that. And some nice satisfying paint peeling to make room for the crankshaft. Now this is a test fit here, so this is just uh, temporary, of course. And this here, this is the stuff that we're using to test the clearances on the crankshaft. It's called Plasti Gauge. Your local auto parts store has it. It's in the back. Make sure that they get it for you. It's in the back. You can see just how small and tiny this stuff is. So all we're doing here is replacing it on each one of the journals where the main bearings are going to be riding. Then we're gonna put the main caps on and we gotta to torque it all down in the proper sequence, which we're gonna do here. It's gonna get a little confusing. Uh, first things first, you're gonna start on the inside bolts. They're 13 millimeters. And you want those all torqued down to 15 mil, or 15 foot pounds, sorry. All the way around in the proper sequence, which I'm showing here. And this is the same sequence for the outer bolts. So it's all gonna be on repeat. Again, 15 foot-pounds first, and then you got to go 80 degrees. It's a degree torque, it's uh, torque to yield, so 80 degrees on that. And then on the bigger bolts with the studs, again, 15 pounds. They're 15 millimeters. Same thing, starting in the middle, working way out. But then you got to come back, and rather than going 80 degrees, we got to go 51 degrees to torque these bad boys down again all the way around the outer circle there in that proper torque sequence that you saw earlier and once that's done then you can go ahead and throw in the bolts on the side those little 10 millimeter bolts and those are just going to be torqued down to 18 foot pounds and then you're good to go And now that everything's torqued down nice and tight, it's time to loosen it all up. So as you saw, I went through the breaker bar, loosened them all up, and now I'm just zip zapping them on out with the impact, keeping everything nice and organized and clean as I go, of course. Now all you're gonna do is pop those, I did a little prayer there if you saw, popping those main caps off, and you're gonna check the squish as I said before. And here's what I'm aiming for is between eight tenths and just over two thou. So I grab my main cap and the plastic gauge paper, which has the gauge on it. And as you see here, 
you can just barely see that squished plastic the discoloration is normal on the main bearings there um, that's just how this brand is and you line it up and you can see that it just lines up with that white mark there and for next to my thumb which is a thou and a half which is perfectly in the middle of the tolerances that I'm shooting for which is perfect and I am ecstatic huge news good news very excited okay a lot of talking here I know but now that that one's done I'm going through and I'm pulling the rest of them off I'm double checking all the tolerances of the squish on that as I go and then I do um, I take a plastic razor blade so it's super soft won't mark up the crankshaft and I'm scraping off all that plastic and I gotta do the same thing to the main bearings. Now that that's all done I go through some assembly lube, some nice Lucas assembly lube uh, and then I set the crankshaft back in, lube up the crankshaft and the main bearings this for their final assembly now put everything back in. Now it's really important that you line these main caps back up because they all have ears. All the ears face to the flywheel except for the one on the flywheel that aims towards the um, harmonic balancer, the front of the engine. So go through, torque them all down exactly the same, 15 foot pounds for the 13 mils, and then 80 degrees, and then 15 foot pounds and 51 degrees for the studs, and then 18 foot pounds for the ones on the side. As you saw, I checked my book just to double check that I had those torque specs right. Going through, it really goes faster than you think. Patience, you don't want to over torque any of them. So just really be patient here. Take your time. And now I'm reusing those 10 mils for their final assembly. And GM recommends that you get some red RTV, the high temp oil resistant stuff. So that's what I have here. I'm putting that around each one of the shoulders of the bolts and putting it back in and again, torquing it down to 18 foot pounds. Here goes. First rotate. <laughs> It almost seems too easy. I wish you guys could see it, I bet you, yep, one finger. One finger, that is awesome. Hell yeah. All in all guys, this was probably the most daunting part of the whole build in my opinion. Um, but once we start this, everything's pretty much smooth sailing from here on out. Super excited that all the specs met. Uh, that's exactly where I wanted to be, right in the middle. So super happy about that. Now that this is done, we can really start streamlining the whole build and get everything else going. Super excited, you aren't going to miss anything. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye.